I've been using the Works Malter for a while now, and the number one thing I like about it is the stand. That's what separates it apart from the other mulchers. Now, some of the issues that you may have is you're gonna have to have a place where you can plug an extension cord in. Luckily, I have a power outlet over here underneath this shady tree so I can work over here. The other issue I have is I have a lot of rocks in my yard. When these rocks get in the mulcher, they'll start flying all over the place, so you have to wear safety protection. The other issue is the weed eater twine that it comes with. You have to order this online. If you can't find it in the stores, it's not as easy to get as regular weed eater line. So we're gonna try a couple different sizes here of weed eater line, and we're gonna see if we can replace the line that came with it with something I bought at the store. Some extra weed eater line I got lying around. So for our safety protection, we're gonna need safety glasses. Dust mask is optional, but uh, after breathing in all that dust from the leaves, it bothers my allergy, so I'm gonna wear a dust mask. And some safety glasses. I got some different piles of stuff here. This is some old grass. I'll go ahead and throw that in there and see how it does. This thing can get kind of loud, so I'm going to throw in some earplugs too. about half full, so we can put some more in there. Go ahead and rake up some leaves and put them in the bucket. One of the questions I was asked is, will it uh, mulch wet leaves? So I got some leaves out of the pool basket here, and we're gonna dump them in there. All right, there's some wet leaves. We'll see how it does.
this is from the palm tree, so this is pretty stringy. I don't think that's going to go down. But yeah, it looks like it mulched them up. All right. Now we got a garbage can full of leaves. Let's go ahead and pour that in there and see if we can mulch those up. A few sticks in here. Well, I don't know what that is, <laughs> where that came from. It didn't mulch it up, but you can see the results there. Here's some unmulched leaves. Well, the good news is it took that whole garbage can and it put it in this one bag. So that's pretty good. Well, I'm pretty happy with this thing. You may have a different situation than me. I got a uh, smaller, drier, dustier area than you probably do, or maybe not. But you can definitely see here, we got all this that was in this garbage can and we got it in that bag. So that's pretty good. If nothing else, the stand that it comes with makes a great way to bag up your leaves. So you can see when the line gets kind of low here, it just starts pushing the stuff up to the side. We'll just take it off and we'll try the other line. Okay, so it comes with 24 pieces of the cutting line and they recommend you purchase the same cutting line from the store that you got it from. But if you want to try and make your own, I'll show you. Let's see if we can figure out what size we need. This right here, this right here is a 0 0.08 diameter. And it looks pretty close. It looks a little small in comparison, but it looks really close. And then this one here is 0 0.095. And it looks a little bigger. You can see that's bigger than the green one. A little bit. 
and it looks a little bit bigger than the red one. So we don't have the exact size. These are just two that I had here that I use on my weed eater. And I'm able to use both sides in there. But if you go with one a little too small, you are going to take a chance that it will spin out. It'll come out and you'll run out of line. And if you use one that's a little too big, it's going to be a little bit hard to reload. But we're going to go ahead and try them both and see if we can get something to work for now. So I'm just going to measure it out here from here to here and then cut it. This has kind of got a curl to it, where this thing's got a nice straight bow to it. The thinner line's not curled up as much, but the thicker one's got a real circle to it. So, All right, there we go. Once again, we're using a um, .080. and a 0 0.95, and we're gonna see how they work. Run these through, you just push it through here. Get it straight, and then you wanna run it through this little hole here. And if you're a little too long, and I think it'll cut it off right there. This line's a little bigger, so it's a little harder to get through there. Get all that crud out of there, all that dirt in there. Try the other side. I think when I cut it, uh, made it spread out a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. This doesn't seem so bad on this side. When I cut it, I squished it a little bit. There we go. All right, we'll put it all back together and we'll see how it does. Well, it seemed to do pretty good. Oh, this bat got a little heavy. Had a lot of sticks in it. But 
But all in all, it looks chopped up pretty good. Once again, there's unchopped leaves. Heavy. 